drones. Drones? They're gonna put this thing on drones? I know. I know. The ghosts are doing everything they can to stop it. Everything okay? I thought we'd have more time. What happened? Captain Coleman made her move. Earlier than I thought. Earlier than we were prepared for. This is Hector Harris. We found him collapsed in the woods about a mile from Erewhon. Wilderness would have taken him if we hadn't lucked upon him. The homestead Hector lives on got raided. We were just sitting down to eat when I heard the trucks. Mmm, smells good, baby. <laughs> you wanna say grace? Pop. Boy. Good evening. You get turned around somewhere? Oh, we're exactly where we need to be. The whole family here? This here's an invitation-only dinner. You're gonna make this easy for me. This is my home! Look, you can... Dad! Dad! Like I said, very easy. Those two. Deal with him. Leave them alone. Mom! Mom! Shoot him! Take care of the others. I just ran. I mean, I left them and ran away. There's no shame in surviving. Don't forget that. I ran when they took my mother, Mads. That's what I won't forget. It's worse than I feared. They're trying to exterminate us. You need to get all the homesteaders back to Air One. The Harris's place is right next to where Kyle and Layla live with Emmett. They could be next. Not if I can help it. And what were we? What were our lives? Part of a test run? Looks like that's all we are to these bastards. No. My life will not be a test run for genocide. I'm gonna demand Schultz calls a meeting the second that cure is in our veins. We need to discuss how to make Sentinel hurt for the pain they've caused. Right there with you, brother. We'll make them pay tenfold. At least Layla's safe. God knows what Coleman's doing to get our location out of those boys. I should have convinced them to come back here. Hey, I tried too. And whatever happens, you've got my help. You take care of your people like a good NCO. They're their own people. We've no leaders here. Even so, I guess most people do look to me. Probably what Uncle Sam saw in you, I'd bet. Where'd you serve? 26 Expeditionary. I was infantry in Liberia and the Balkans. UN support off the Somali coast. NCO pension didn't suit you? 
I got tired of fighting over oil. So when the good old U.S. of A. stopped pretending we had any other purpose, so did I. Served out the rest of my enlistment and decided to stay. You said Maria's your old lady? I'd jump into fire for that woman. You met here? On a row? She moved here as a child. She was about 20 when we got together. Some people find me prickly, if you can believe that. But she saw right through me. I've been searching my whole life for someone like her. She's as responsible for our success as Rowan and me. How's it feel having Skell here? He's just a person. Granted, not exactly my kind of people. Part of me is disappointed. The man can talk. He even had me starting to believe he was different. But then came the drones. Then came the drones. I wonder how many times in his career he's claimed more credit than he deserved. Now all he wants to do is give it away. Hopefully he makes himself useful. Time will tell. In the meantime, I'll talk with Fox instead. Fair enough. You think Hector's gonna be okay? He won't be any worse than the rest of us. If you get a hair up your ass and want to head out there... Hey, we're families, not fighters. I'll get word to the other homestead, see if they want shelter. I need you to play offense. Between Stone, Walker, and Paula Madeira, Jay Skell doesn't seem that good at keeping friends. Nope. I guess a rich guy like that, big tech boss, everybody must be wanting something from him. Maybe. But if folks keep turning on you, sooner or later you gotta ask yourself what part you played. Nah, you got used. Dr. Madeira seems to feel like she's the one got used. She's an engineer, so she's not a doctor. Does that mean she's wrong? I guess not. I'll tell you, AI is running way too much out there. When people started putting it all over their homes, that Internet of Things crap, that's when all doubt about homesteading left my mind. We're two steps away from letting AI make all the big decisions. Who do you think is making all them micro-trades that move the stock market up and down? Who do you think decides if you get that home loan? Who analyzes all the population data that decides government policy? You've thought about this. Maybe you should think about it more. How much AI are you carrying onto the battlefield? You expect a lot more of your people will find their way here? There's plenty of room. A lot of folks living in a confined space it leaves a big signature. I hear you. I just wonder about the logistics. Is this sustainable? Let me worry about logistics. I'm a homesteader. We live and die by logistics. We take them in, we leave them in the wild, same thing. Everything's a risk. At least here, I know people are getting what they need. It ain't perfect, I know. But it's the best solution I got for now. What is this world seed vault thing? Sounds like a bad theme for a state fair. Just one more thing Skell does to show the world how amazing he is. You know it's ridiculous. He saves all these seeds like it's some kind of Noah's Ark, but he's the one destroying the environment. Keep seeds? For what? It's a gene bank. In case some crisis wipes out a species. But it's his technology that's wreaking havoc on the local plant life. He's gonna create the crisis. Figures. That man's a real piece of work. I don't get how the drones aren't seeing you here. Well, that's all Jericho. Set up special nets at the openings that hide us from the sensors. Cave walls, take care of the rest. It's a little smarter than I am, so I'll let you ask her if you need more technical details. Yeah, thanks. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Nomad, how are you? Missing the comforts of home. Otherwise, not bad. Don't let those comforts control you. Listen, I've been tied up with some personal business, so I was hoping you would do me a favor. Okay. 
Sure. What's up? Rumor has it some old dog tags turned up just west of Howard Port. Fellow who discovered them said he found them on a skeleton out in the woods by a bombed out old truck. He didn't want to disturb the remains out of respect. Thing is, I think they belong to a Cold War buddy of mine. Cal was a good soldier, and an even better friend. He saved my life half a dozen times. It's sad we lost touch over the years, and... Well, I'd just really like to know what happened. Yeah, I get it. We've both buried our share of friends. I'll check it out. I suggest searching just north of Grove's Pond. Shouldn't be too tough to find. It's near Gordon Slough over in the Sinking Country province. I'm on it. see yourself doing this? You ever see this coming?
out. Just keep at it. Hello. Hey. I'm looking for some information. Found some sort of military badge that reads AAB Typhoon 403. Does that sound familiar to you? Any idea where it came from? That's it. Thanks, stranger.
Good to go. Roger, moving to target. On your go, Ghost Lead. Okay, Ghost Lead, we're clear. Well done. Useful intel here. Hey man, all good on my side. to gather any intelligence we can find. Nicely done.
eliminated. Regroup on your position. On. Take care of flashbangs. How you imagined it? I'm just happy to be doing something instead of rotting an Erewhon. You ever think this is how your life would go? Never.
Hello there. I'm looking for any signs of radiation. Seen anything unusual in the area? I've told you. That's all. Appreciate your help. Scale, I would. Building an honest to God base of operations for Sentinel HQ. Hostile identified. Over there.
uniform, no identification. Wait a minute. They got a ring on his finger. It's the same one from Mads' photograph. This is Cal's body. You ever see it? Hey, you've been good. Make yourself at home. Mads, I have some bad news. Okay. Cal didn't make it. I figured as much. Any idea what did him in? Looks like he got into a shootout with a Russian. His body was stripped of its uniform and its identification. Had to identify him by his ring. Damn. Cold War was never as cold as they made it out. Well, at least he went out fighting. Better than malaria as far as things go. Seems like your friend Cal had his fair share of secrets, Mads. Dealing with the Russians, some pretty hardcore stuff. Yeah. Cold War was a crazy time. You were never sure who you could trust. Cal, though, he was one of the good guys. He just got dealt a bad hand trying to do the right thing. Ah, hell, I'm just glad the world didn't get nuked in the process. Found a sketch of a map and a picture of some kind of blueprints. I can't figure out what they're for. Now, let me take a look. My old brain might have the answer somewhere in there. I also found a key card. With some kind of strange atomic symbol on it. There wasn't any recent testing on the island, was there? Currently? I sure hope not. Two eyes is more than enough for me. I hear you. Do me a favor, come back tomorrow. I'm sure my old Naga might remember something or other by then. Will do. I'll talk to you. See ya. Hey, Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. How do you put up with Mads? Oh, he's not so bad. Once you get past that prickly shell, He's the perfect teddy bear when you need a cuddle in the cold night. You know what? I'm gonna leave the cuddling to you. Besides, I'm still getting that prickly shell. He just takes a little patience. We don't suffer fools out here. My husband sees something catawampus, he smacks it till it's straight. Then I'll make sure I'm squared away. How are the homesteaders feeling about Skell now? Well, that's not so simple. Nobody's really thrilled with him, as you could have guessed. They avoid him, like the plague. But that suits him just fine. He don't have to mingle with us anyway. Can't they just learn to live without the small talk? I suppose I'll have to. People here seem to respect him more now. I guess that's what you call it. We thought he was a heartless fool before. But now, maybe he was just naive. You can't fault a man for that. I see that he really is dedicated and hardworking. And those are values that we homesteaders hold very dear to us. I'll see you around. 
You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. You ever think about the old days? I try not to. This is a pretty fancy setup for some backwoods yokels. You're telling me. I've seen a lot of this stuff before, like in army hospitals, if you get my drift. Wouldn't doubt it. This is as good as any med hooch we've ever had. Yeah, well, all things being equal, I'd rather be in one of our camps. At least I'd know I signed up for it. How you holding up? Shit, man, I'm golden. Hang on, I've been working on my dance routine. You probably need to get out of that bed first. Yeah, my audition at Juilliard may have to wait. I hope you have a backup plan. Cause that leg's done. This is killing me. I'm useless here. You've helped these people. Sure, I talked them through some guard rotations and security protocols, but still. We're all doing what we can. I'd rather have you in the fight, but at least I know this place is locked down. I just... can't stand thinking I'm slowing you down. <laughs> and I'm just glad you're still around to bug the shit out of me. Eh, bite me. I must be some kind of idiot. Dude, you couldn't have seen Hill switching sides like that. No. I should have seen that coming. That shit is on him, not you. He made his choice. How did things get so screwed up? I can't begin to answer that. So what now? We got Skell. He's here. I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but that guy... What? I'm just saying. I don't trust him. Yeah, well... What choice do we have? He says he's got a plan to get control of the drones. I'll bet he does. Well, we gotta do something. We got a real problem, man. What, we out of sour mix? I mean it. These wolves, they're not regular nuggets. Yeah, people talk around here. Everyone's scared shitless of them. Harbingers of doom, they say, yada, yada, yada. They knew everything I was doing. They're trained, just like us. I can only guess the walkers knew people. Well, that's not good. No, it's not. They're ghosts, without the constraints. I'll go find the sour mix. Later, brother. Later.